हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर संजय पगार असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोग्राफी डियर स्टूडेंट आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस ऑनलाइन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन बी एफ ऑफ मराठा विद्या प्रसारक समाज बेच कॉमर्स एंड ए एम साइंस पॉप्युलरली नोन एज के कॉलेज नासिक डीएस स्टूडेंट दिस इज अवर एस वाई बी एस सी जोग्रफी क्लास सेमिस्टर फोर एंड टाइटल ऑफ अवर सब्जेक्ट इज एनवायरमेंटल जोग्रफी पार्ट टू द कोड ऑफ अवर सब्जेक्ट इज जी जी टू फोर वन डीएस स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अवर टॉपिक नंबर टू दैट इज एनवायरमेंटल प्लानिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर फर्स्ट सब टॉपिक दैट इज कंसेप्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल प्लानिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट dear student in previous lecture we have discussed detail information about steps in environmental impact assessment for today's lecture we have study objective that is very simple to discuss the concept of environmental planning and management dear student you know that the environment play an important role in healthy living and the existence of life on the planet earth dear student you know that numbers of the biotic factor are living on their surface and for their survival the environment is very important the ecological balance is very important to survive the biotic factor on their surface human need to interact with the environment to obtain our foods water fuel medicines building material and so many things that we require we want to complete our various needs by using the various natural resources that are available on the surface and all these natural resources are part of environment therefore the environment is very important for human being but advances in science and technology have helped to us to exploit the environment for its benefits and introduce the pollution and cause the environmental damage it is true dear student because you know that the when human being want to complete his various need that time he use the various resources that are available on the surface that is a part of natural resources but see by using the advanced science and technological knowledge he exploited all these resources on large scale to fulfill his various need the human being is selfish animal he don't consider about the ecological balance and the environmental balance he always try to complete his various needs but today therefore the today environmental degradation has emerged a major global co uh, concern for a human survival on the global level you will observe that the environmental degradation is a become a very serious problem environmental planning and management are closely linked with the sustainable economic development if you want to continue our economic development that time we should take care about the environment and for that purpose sustainable economic development is very important and it is a Uh, it is true that if you not care about the uh, environment then definitely it will be harmful for human development there is a balance in the nature in all factor but because of interaction in the natural elements the environmental balance get disturbed due to the human various activity and the selfish nature there is a natural mechanism to recover the disturbed balance naturally but due to the human being increase interference in the nature the quality of environment is degraded day by day and that is the main problem that we found at international level the global the over exploitation of the natural resources for economic development increase the concern of environmental degradation it is true because when you carried out the economic development or the process of economic development that time we use directly or indirectly lot of material that are part of the natural resources but that time we are not think about the ecological balance or the environmental balance we try to grab this all this material for our selfish needs and this everywhere you will observe that there is a always interaction between man and environment but man is always overtake on the environment to fulfill his various needs directly directly or indirectly from the uh, environment therefore dear student the ecological balance the environmental balance is disturbed on a large scale day by day on the earth surface therefore this is very important so for that purpose planning and management of environment is necessary task for sustainable development if you want to make a sustainable development then definitely if you want to take uh, if you want to do a develop economic economic development that time 
you always keep in mind that the ecological balance is also important equally important and therefore if you want, want to create a continue our economic development that time instead of the economic development we should continue in the form of our economic development that is the sustainable economic development then we can also take care about the various factor of the environment we will try to keep the environmental balance as good as possible that will be helpful for the human survival not only for human survival but other that are the various biotic factors that, that 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 we have on the surface so for that purpose it's a very important planning and the management of environment if you want to continue our sustainable development dear student let us talk about the concept of the environmental planning and management first we try to define the term individually what do you mean by environment what do you mean by planning what do you mean what do you mean by the management and then we try to combine the meaning of the environmental planning and the environmental management so let us start with the first concept that's the environment we already learned this concept in previous semester but let us see the one very important definition of environment that are given by the park in 1980 according to him environment refer to the sum total of condition we surrounded man at a given point in a space and time it is involve everything living as well as non living things dear student this is a very important and the comprehensive definition of environment see what is what do you mean by environment environment is the sum total condition of it is the sum total condition of surrounded man at a given point in a space and time suppose suppose human being is living here so whatever the non living and the living factor are available around him this all factor are part of the environment it may be the, the living factor like a biotic factor it may it include the uh, birds animals then this um, vegetation plants crops microorganism and lot of things and even the human and the human uh, human being also is a part of that living thing and we also have the some non living things uh, for example we have the soil is here sunlight is here minerals is here and lot of things the rock is there so all these part are the water is there uh, so uh, sunlight is there all these part are the part of the non living environment so when we combine the living and on non living factor that are available surround the human being they are known as a environment so this is the very simple definition of the environment let us see the another important small but a very important definition the surrounding condition uh, surroundings or the condition in which a person or animal or plant lives or operate so same thing is there so meaning is same just words are changed but meaning remains same see suppose here what you are suppose here man might be living or maybe any animal maybe any plants so whatever the surrounded area that available around this man or maybe the person maybe animal or plant these all things are known as a environment or they are the part of the environment dear student the environment means anything that surround us it include the physical chemical and the other natural forces living things live in their environment see again this definition so whatever we expected in environment this all things are included in this definition the physical include the physical physical force means what it may be the part of the physical it may be the uh, terrain of there or maybe the drainage system of that drainage system of that particular area maybe the geology of that area minerals what are the rocks this all of soil this all are the physical things the chemical things maybe the numbers of the gases are available maybe nitrogen is nitrogen is there carbon dioxide is there hydrogen is there oxygen is there water is there these all are the part of the chemical and part of the chemical uh, parts of the environment then we have the other natural forces also numbers of the natural the instead of the uh, physical chemical we have the other biological factor is also there biological means i just mentioned about the biotic factor it may be the any animals bird microorganism or maybe the plants or even the human being also maybe the fish or numbers of the things that are available inside the ocean also so all these biotic factor also part of the environment so what what is the meaning of the environment in short living things live in their environment means all these things are living in the environment so the 
the things that are supporting to the living things or maybe the for biotic factor the numbers of the abiotic factor also support to survival to the living things so all these living things and non living things are a part of the environment so environment is nothing but it's a combination of living and non living things that are available around us so this is about the environment let us talk about the another the, uh, concept that is the planning and the environmental planning first we try to think what do we mean by planning then we combine the thing environmental planning see dear student this is a very important concept planning is the process of thinking about the activities required to achieve a desired goal so when we we uh, decide any goal to achieve uh, within a some uh, limited time or maybe the uh, within the some uh, limits so that time what is important if you want to achieve anything that time planning is very important so according to definition planning is the process of thinking about the activities required to achieve a desired goals means we first decided the goal and to achieve the goal what we are doing that steps are part of the planning planning is nothing but it's a mental preparation the mental preparation for the action so uh, for achieving the goals we decide some steps or some process we think that how we can achieve this goal so planning is very simple planning is the process of thinking about the activity required to achieve a desired goal it may be whatever it is so that is a uh, part of our depend on your our uh, objective or depend on, on your goals another definition that what is planning planning is considered to be a process of development for achieving an overall growth of society and also the remaining socio economic disparity through the exploiting and the exploiting and the utilization of the natural and human resources see this is a very comprehensive definition of the planning the planning is considered to be a process of development for achieving an overall growth of the society this is a very important you know that suppose we want to make a, any type of the development let us talk about the economic development so economic development should be there but it should be considered it should be include all part of the society it there the, it doesn't mean that the one one component or one maybe the one part of that society will be developed no the, there are overall growth of the society whatever the parts uh, parts and parcel of that society that every should be developed and another is what is important remain the socio economic disparity that is very important so when we uh, achieve, we try to assume the economic development or the economic growth that time when keep in our mind that there should not be any disparity in the socio economic connection means there should not be the one group it it may be possible that one uh, part of the society may be get a lot of income and another remain uh, very poor so it doesn't mean that there is a it is not expected in this process so therefore there should be the equal development not only with respect to the uh, social condition and also economic condition so social condition may may be there the literacy rate might be there the equality of the wealth wealth there uh, wealth might be there or maybe uh, economic uh, uh, that benefit they are uh, achieving through the development that every should be equal so there should not be any uh, part of that society any uh, any what any class of the society uh, uh, should not be the get a very less amount or the share as compared to other class of the society there should be the equal distribution of the economic condition or economical benefits that we are expected here so therefore planning is nothing but it is a process to achieving the development for achieving the overall growth of the society and removing the socio economic disparity through the exploiting and the utilization of the natural and human resources both are very important for that purpose utilization of the natural and the human resources should be proper and if it is it will be proper then definitely we can able to make our target uh, achieve our target that is a growth of overall growth of our society let us talk about the very important thing now if you combine the, this meaning that environmental planning then what will be it the environmental planning implying the optimum utilization of the natural resources for all kind of development development activity the conservation of rare and the precious the precious resources and the preservation of quality of the environment 
for sustainable development see it each what we expected that everything is in this definition so environmental planning is the activity it's a process what we doing in in this process we use the opti we opti use the optimum natural resources what are available in that area and that we use for the development activity it may be the any numbers of the activity are in, uh, included in the economic growth and economic development for that purpose we can able to use each and every part of that resources which are available inside that particular reserve and one thing is there there should be the conservation of the conservation of the natural resources especially i am talking about the those are very precious they are very rare so the preservation of these uh, resources conservation of this is very important if you not take care about them then it doesn't mean that you are being the uh, sustainable development so you do the development but in simultaneously we also take care about the rare resources and precious resources because you know that the, some resources are not renewable once you use it they going to finish so therefore you have to take care about the those are very rare resources you you use them very carefully that we are expected in environmental planning and nothing but it's a part and parcel of environmental planning and other the important thing that the preservation of the quality of the environment for sustainable development is very important see this is a very important words in this definition the preservation of the quality of the environment so if you do the environment uh, ecology uh, what you are, what you can say if you doing the economic development economic growth but if you uh, at the same time if you are damaging the environment you uh depleting the quality of the soil depleting the quality of the water or the environment will create the pollution then your development is useless because what is our uh, what is our uh, goals that we should do the economic development but simultaneously we also take care about the environmental balance you should be keep preserve the environmental quality if you are not doing that then then you are not doing the uh, means you are uh planning is in vain so therefore when we are talking about the environmental planning that time what is important one thing that you do the economic development but simultaneously you have to take care about the quality of the natural resources quality of the environment then you can continue your economic development that we included in this definition see another very simple definition of environmental planning environmental planning is the planning process for the environment pillar of sustainable development see that is very important see numbers of the the principles and the rules and the uh, foundation laid down for the sustainable development if you keep all these principle that basic in your mind on the basis of that if you construct your economic development process then there, there is no any problem but see when you are doing the economic development but you are not take care about the environmental uh things environmental that uh, the environmental balance that we require for the survival of the human being and the other biotic factor that are available on the surface so therefore it is a plan environmental planning is a planning process for environmental pillar of sustainable development means we should uh, construct our economic development process on the pillar of on the foundation of the ecological balance on the foundation of the environmental balance on the foundation of the quality to preserve the quality of the environment and then you can continue your environment your economic development that we are expected in environmental planning so environmental planning again i repeat environmental planning the planning process for the environmental pillar for the sustainable development of that particular reason then dear student so see another important definition environmental planning is the process of evaluating how social political economic and governing factor affect the natural environment when consider the development see again same meaning is there see uh, when we when you are uh, continuous your economic development that time what you should keep in your mind that yes uh, simultaneously you have to evaluate the your process how impact on the social condition the political condition economic condition and governing factors these all things are very important by keeping all these thing in your mind you have to continue your economic development so there should not be any negative impact on the society negative impact on the environment negative impact on all uh, numbers of things that are available inside their particular reason so therefore this is very important so when you are talking about the environmental 
plan, uh, economic development that time you know environment planning what we should include what should you think what should you think the process of evaluating how social political economic and governing factor affect the natural environment when you consider one thing means what it is very simple if in in other word you can say that the when you continuous your economic development that time of the social imp, uh, what is the social impact of that uh, uh, social society's impact on that environment what is the political impact on that environment what is the economic impact on that environment what is the governing factor that are included that, that that may be the part of the administration uh, uh, administration division or maybe the numbers of the leadership that included that participate in that development process that impact of the, all these thing what will be on the environment natural environment that should we expected in the environmental planning and when you do a planning in a such a way that time your economic development should be continue and simultaneously there should not be any damage on the natural environment and the balance of the environment that were expected here in this environmental planning see some very important element that are present uh, nowadays in the when we are talking of the environmental planning what they are the first is the social and economic development see without social and economic development you are not doing economic growth so uh, when you are doing the economic development that time social and economic development both you have to keep in your mind but see again there should not be any side effect negative effect on the environment second thing urban development that is also part and parcel of your economic development regional development is also important natural resources management and integrated land use is very important infrastructure system is very important governance framework is important so see if you want to continue your economic development sustainable development all these things should be in your keep, keep in your mind in such a way there should not be any harm to our the negative impact on the environment so urban development should be there regional development should be there there should not be regional disparity all parts should be the developed uh, means equally there should not be any regional disparity uh, be there so it may in the case of maharashtra you know that the there is a regional disparity the western maharashtra is uh, developed much more as compared to maharashtra and vidarbha thus such uh, such type of the disparity we are not expected when we are talking of the sustainable development so in particular should be the equally developed in that region so each a natural resources management should be do in a such a way that it should be like a integrated land use so uh, when we are talking about the frame any planning for the land use that time we should keep again one thing is there okay, that uh, you should keep in your mind that ecological balance environmental balance so that we are expected in environmental planning so let us talk about the last concept that is a management and the environmental management see the dear student the process of dealing with or the controlling things or the people is known as the management in broad broad, uh, broad sense you can say management means directing and the controlling a group of people or an organization to reach a goal see this is very important suppose uh, we want to reach a uh, uh, we want to achieve the goal and for that purpose we do something we have to do something but there should be any some direction you might be there some control on the group should be there it may be the group of people or group of the group of the worker whatever it is so in management what we are expecting we give some guideline and we also control the uh, control on that group while they working or achieving the goal because you know that there if you not control them it may be say, they, uh, they, there should be any uh, negative thing might be happen so you always keep watch on that process watch on that group and try to observe if they are being silly mistake or doing some uh, negative thing then we have to control them so we always uh, give them the guideline and according to guideline they have to do their work they have to carry their work to achieving their goals that were expected in management when you're talking the management see another definition management is the coordination and the administration of tasks to achieve the goal that is very important so it, it's a part of the human resources so what we are expected in in management we coordination between this whatever the factor are participate in that process and also we do the administration also there to complete the task that what we are going to achieve in that limited area so that we are expected in management when we're talking about the inter environmental management then dear student that is very important environmental management is a process of managing both the components that is a man and environment in a many different ways see dear student that is very important so when we are talking about the environment management that time we should keep in our mind that 
the there should be the control on the both things that is very important especially i am talking about the human being because you know that there should not be any negative impact we will be observed from the environment side but there, there is a possibility is the negative impact from the man on the environment so therefore so if you see the again the combined combined definition of the environmental management environment management is the process of improving the relationship between man and environment to enhance the quality of both environment and society see this is a very important definition what we are expected in the environmental management that each and everything is included in this definition the management environmental management is the process of improving the relationship between the man and environment to enhance the quality of both environment and society means what we are expected here yeah, there should be the progress of the society there should be the economic development of the society but see again what is important there should not be the, any negative impact on the environment we have to take care about the quality of the environment and simultaneously when we are doing the economic development that time we also take care about the conservation of the ecosystem conservation of the eco or natural environment or the natural resources that are available inside that area so that is very important so dear student to improve the relationship between the human being and the environment there should be a control over the destructive activity of man conservation and protection of the environment this is very important see this is a very important if you want to do a sustainable development that time the destructive activity should be controlled that uh, in this society if somebody is doing some such a thing that a negative thing that are damage that are uh, create the damage to the environment then we should be controlled there and simultaneously we protect the environment we protect the natural resources and conserve them that is very important therefore environmental management involves the socio-economic development of the society on the one hand and the maintenance of the quality of the environment you know, on the other hand that is very important and without this we are not going to uh, achieve the sustainable development thus environmental planning and management is a compromise between environmental balance and economic development of the society so therefore dear student when we are talking about the sustainable development environmental protection or uh, development of the human being that time this last sentence is very important what is this sentence environmental planning and the management is a compromise between environmental balance and economic development of society and therefore this is a very important dear student it takes into the consideration the environmental principle of and the socio-economic need of the society and without that we are not going to achieve the great uh, economic development or any type of the development dear student this was about today's lecture in this lecture we try to define some very important concept that is a, what do you mean by the environmental uh, planning and environmental management in next lecture we are going to discuss the principle of environmental environmental planning okay goodbye